Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about differential equations of equilibrium. So let us first know what are equilibrium equations. So the state of stress in a body varies from point to point, whereas the state of stress at any point or required point is desired in a body. So we are going to find out the state of stress at any point or the required point. So one of the important equations used in the analysis to determine the stress at a required point from known point. So this set of equations are called as equilibrium equations. So one of the important equations used in the analysis to determine the stress. We are determining a stress at a required point. See if we need the stress calculation at this point, we are determining that stress at the required point from the known point. See, let us think we know the stress at this point, but we are determining the stress at this point. That is the point, this is the required point. We are using some relations, the set of equations. They are called as equilibrium equations. But as they are called equilibrium equations, these conditions will be established only when the body is in equilibrium. Only when the body is in equilibrium, these conditions or equations would be valid. So let us see the derivation part of that. See we are considering a small rectangular element with sides del x, del y and del z from its parent body. See let us take this as the parent body in x and y axis. This small element or the rectangular element we are considering from this parent body. This whole element is called as parent body. From this we are just taking a small part. This, we, this is the big one. Okay. We are just elaborating this. So, the sides are del x, del y, del z, del x, del y, del z in x, y and z axis respectively. So, before this, like uh, I'll show you a diagram to understand, uh, to let me explain you it more clearly, okay. See, here is a diagram, that rectangular element, we are just finding out these elements, I will tell you. See, when we are taking x plane, that lies in y and z axis, see. I told see this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis when I am talking about x plane that lies in y and z between y and z axis see this is the y axis this is z axis so here lies the x plane okay when I am talking about y plane that is in the plane x and z see x is the horizontal one and z is the y is this one and this is z one so this one the plane that is lying see this is x this is y so this would be the y planes and when i am saying z1 that is it is it should be in between x and y see this the horizontal one is x the vertical one is y so the main face is for y plane okay now we understood what are the planes so first let us take x plane in x plane we have a normal stress in x direction okay and these these are the shear stresses shear stress of x in z direction like x in y direction okay y is the direction x is the plane see whenever we are talking about tau x y or x z the first one would represent the plane and second one would represent the direction so here tau x y as it is x plane we are taking x y and it is x z so when we are considering the deflections or the small displacements here so sigma x because of the sigma x we, there is a small displacement in sigma x because of the load acting that is again delta sigma x tau x y plus delta just uh, we have to add that with a small element del okay tau x z del x z x z see whatever the directions are there in the first plane the second one they are quite opposite okay See, if it is downward here, it is upward here. It goes left hand side, it goes right hand side. Okay, remember the directions are opposite in nature. Now coming to y plane. In y plane, that is x and z axis, between the x and z axis. Here, I told you in y plane, there is a normal stress in y direction, that is sigma y. Okay, and we also have shear stresses. Y, the first one would represent the plane, and second one would represent the direction. As it is in x direction, it is yx. It is in z direction, it is yz. 
and again the small displacements are coming in picture see here I am naming this planes like this is the first one this is second one these are the faces actually so in x in x plane we are getting first and second phase in y plane we are getting third and fourth phase similarly in z plane we are getting five and six faces in z plane we have normal stress in uh, z direction and again we have shear stresses first one would represent the plane and second would be the direction okay now we got to know all the forces in x and y directions and z directions in all the phases actually see this is the first phase second phase third phase fourth phase fifth and sixth phase see that is what i'm just making a note over here this is forces on phase one phase two and phase three similarly on phases four five and six i have just added up all that see these are the forces acting on phase five on phase six these are the forces so now we have to derive the equilibrium e equations like uh, we are getting the considering the equilibrium of forces in this directions we will get the equilibrium equations so firstly we will consider it in x direction and then y direction and then z direction first we are taking x direction remember the self weight component of the body in x y and z directions are gamma x gamma y and gamma z that is self weight components this is also the force acting Okay, this is gamma x, gamma y and gamma z in x, y and z directions respectively. See, considering the forces in x direction, that is on all the faces 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. See, these are the faces 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. Okay, so these are the faces. See, this phi is the backward one, the backward of this phase. Okay, so we are getting the forces. I told you the second one that is tau zx the second element would represent the direction so in all phases we have to take what all elements having the second term as x see here in fo uh, forces in considering the phase uh, phi here we have tau zx that is in x direction we have having a shear stress of z plane so we should take all the elements having x in second part in the second element okay Considering all the elements, we will get this x direction diagram. So, we should just simply write that taking the right hand side, the arrows in the right hand side as positive and the left hand side as negative. Okay, we will just simply write that. See here, it is sigma x, it is left hand side. I am keeping it. But we know the forces are simply stress into area. We know stress is equal to force by area to derive the forces. We are taking the equilibrium of forces in x direction. So we need forces. That is simply stress multiplied by area. So this sigma x is acting in the area z and y in this area. So this is simply a rectangle. We will just multiply its sides. Sigma z, sigma y. And again coming to this one. Sigma x, this is the stress acting here. The area is again sigma z and sigma y. Okay. Next we have see next considering the third element tau y x that is in left hand side direction so we are taking that negative multiplied by its area that is z into x simply there we go with all this and don't forget to include the self weight components we have discussed earlier that is gamma x in x direction we are as we are only considering the x direction elements only the gamma x will come into picture this is the Mul this is multiplied by the whole volume that is simply gamma x gamma y and gamma z after eliminating the negative term and the positive terms over here we'll get this equation so we'll just take this part as common from all the elements and send to this side that would be zero so this is the so doing to sigma x by dou x doing to tau y x by dou y doing to tau yz by dou z gamma x is equal to 0 that is simply dou by dou x into sigma x dou by dou y into tau y x dou by dou z into tau z x so gamma x that is 
the sulfate component in x direction similarly similarly we'll also get this equilibrium equation in y direction see in sigma x we'll get sigma y by dou y next dou into tau y is the plane in x direction so dou, in, dou tau y x by dou x dou tau y z by dou z plus gamma y that is the self-weight component in y direction similarly in z direction this would be the equation okay now let us take equilibrium equations for 2d plane for 2d we will not be considering this normal stress in z direction tau x z tau y z that would be simply x in x in x direction this would be the equation in y direction this would be the equation so these are the equilibrium equations for 2d plane that is it for this video guys please like share comment and subscribe to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would greatly encourage me i appreciate you watching this video thank you thanks for watching please like share comment to my channel please subscribe to my channel